this we are going to be very time conscious. Amen. Amen. But I want to say this. Two men were coming from two directions. But there was a man that owns a cow. He painted half of the cow white and painted the other half black. One was coming from this side, and one was coming from this side. So the man passed with his cow. The one coming from this side saw a white cow. And the one coming from this side saw a what? A black cow. Then both of them met, and somebody asked them, did you see a cow? They said, yes. Both of them said, yes. It's a white color. This one said black, and the other one said, no, it's white. That one said, no, it's black. There was nothing you want to tell this man that will make him believe he's white. And there's nothing you want to tell this other man that makes him believe he's black. You know, this is my first time in Kenya. And there is nothing you will tell me and say Kenyans are bad. I will never believe. Huh? Because I met the best good man in Kenya. Please celebrate Bishop. Educated, too beautiful, 
I'm not having what others have, but I have God's grace. Their grace is enough. For His grace can give me all that I need. It was a matter of time. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' name. Because I know quickly, wherever you are, turn with me to Genesis. Please, we're going to be doing Nigeria and Kenya today, amen. amen. You know, even the president was in Nigeria a few days back, so but still doing the same thing here. So my president sent me here, so do the speech myself. <laughs> amen. Praise God. In case you didn't hear what I said, just say amen. Because sometimes I cannot speak exactly like you. I might not be to somebody here. Amen. But to be rest assured, every word that proceeds from my mouth shall be a blessing unto your life. Amen. Are you still here? Yes. Genesis chapter number 22.
Christian, you have to learn how to live that way. Mm -hmm. If you can't live it, you can't become, the Bible says, for we have become partakers of his glory. Partakers. Partakers. We have become partakers of his glory. Although we went through suffering like him, but we have not partake. So, so many Christians go through suffering and never partake. Hebrews 10, 35 says, Cast not away my confidence. We shall have the great recompense of the world. <coughs> for ye have need of patience after you have gone the will of God that you may obtain the promise. So there is a promise for every child of God, and it is obtainable. Yeah. And that means, if you say obtain, for you to obtain, you, you have to take it. So that means you can be a Christian or a child of God and never take it. Am I talking to somebody here? Oh, there are funds available for all Kenyans, and when you come, you fill it, you'll be given some money, and people went there and took the form. Why some didn't go? When they are paying those who take the form, they won't pay the who didn't take it. Right. Because you have to go and obtain the form. Right. If you want to go to the university, you must go to the university to obtain the form. Right. So, the glory of God is obtainable. Yeah. Yeah. Provoking supernatural increase. For the place where we dwell is too straight for us. And he said, please, we love to increase our capacity. Right. We feel we should be bigger, better, mightier than this. Amen. I may look like my father, but I am not my father. Right. Oh, his name is Benjamin, my name is Michael. Right. So I'm going to live a better life, right. a different life, right. and a greater life. Yeah. And the worst thing that happened is that my father, maybe he may be from Nairobi City, but me, I am from Zion City. Right. Oh, there's a little difference between me and him now. Right. Am I talking to somebody here this morning? Yeah. Provoking and trying to lay foundation. Very soon I'll build what I want to build. Now you need to understand the story. The Bible said Abraham was in his father's house. But in his father's house, he was already blessed. And God called him out of his father's house. Now listen to me, Abraham must be for now, be a lover of God. For if he doesn't love God, he has no fellowship with God, there shall be no hearing from God. And I don't know who is here who loves the Lord and who has fellowship with God and who believes in God. For everyone under the sound of my voice, there are certain things we do in life. They pushes us from small level into greater level. Ladies, hear this. Men, hear this. Age is just a number. I know you didn't hear that one. Age. It is a for those of you who are fighting for age, it's just a number. That we all fight for age here. Yeah. Don't you know I'm, I'm older than you? Don't you know I'm older than you? It doesn't make you more blessed than me. Oh, I know you don't know this one. There are those people who increase their age. You are 21, say, how old are you? So if I said to one, anybody will look at me. So he said, I'm 52. <laughs> what are those who reduce their age, especially the footballers, so that they can continue to play? Some have reduced their age to under 21, under 21, until all days, then they never enter the national team. Oh, am I saying something wrong here? What I'm saying the truth, you agree with that?
uh, Michael Pilot in US, you have the book reference of her. Uh, all these are also tied to men's wisdom. The greatest wisdom on earth is bundled in a little book. You have it, it's not normal with our wisdom. Oh, I wish I preach it to somebody this morning here. And imagine Abraham at the end of over 40, he was still in his father's house. And this man was blessed. And this man had children, uh, servants, and he has cattle, and everything in his father's house. But he was still in his father's house. There are so many of us here in the realm of the spirit, although we don't live with our father, but we are still in our father's house. How are we in our father's house? We are of the same level with everybody. I wish I could wish to somebody here. Do you know there are family where everybody is the same? Everybody is the same. You don't have a doctor, you don't have a this, all of you are just the same level. Even if you need some help, they need to raise like 50,000 uh, Kenyan shillings. Then, if you call the whole family together, they will be looking at each other. So what did you just say? Say 50,000. They said, bro, this is a, you know my story? <laughs> then you turn and look and say, hey, don't look this way, don't look at just go that way. You look at it, don't look at me. Then somebody else say, don't even ask that one. The same level. And God said, you can't be working with me and remain at the same level. Yes. Oh, I wish I'm talking to somebody here. Yes. And he spoke to him, come out of their father's house. So he left his father's house. Now, they were not poor in his father's house. They were blessed. And so they are saying family here blessed and something family poor. I'm speaking the truth, so don't, don't try to patronize it. Don't say that we are not poor in Jesus' name. I'm speaking the truth. This is not about Jesus' name now. Everybody is what? Is poor. There are families here where everybody is poor, and there's a family here where you are blessed. And you think you are okay already. But God said, come out of them and let me bless you. And Bible said, he left even Lord following him. And he was being blessed. You know, the worst thing, the, the most terrible person to follow, or the most wrong thing, or the right thing, but in human senses, the most wrong thing to follow is God. A man took his wife, took his luggages, carried everything, and was on his way. And everybody said, where are you going? He said, I'm going to a land of milk and money. Oh, people say, wow, what's that place? He said, um, I don't know yet. <laughs> and you mean you risk all your life for a journey you don't know? Because God told you, God told you, you took all your camel, you took all your cattle, you took all your rams, you carried all your servants, and you risked the life of your wife. You are even taking your cousin with you. That you are following God. Do you know people sometimes look at you that you are very stupid the way you live with God? You know, we're talking about God's beauty now, and there are people who are doing some certain things, and some people think they are fools. Do you know there are wise people here, wiser than themselves? People who are wiser than their own selves. Who knows how to play the wisdom of the earth? Who plays the wisdom of men? And so doing, they deprive themselves of God's blessing and wisdom. And the Bible said, Abraham provoking supernatural increase. Although the man was blessed, but he was following the God who has the ability, the capability and ability to push him from where he is to a greater level. Amen. I came to pray for somebody. After this service, you will live where you are now to a bigger level. Amen. I thought you are going to be the largest in this house. And the Bible said, God, for him come, let me bless you. And Abraham was blessed. He was so blessed to a stage that one day again, God told him, he met with Meshizedek. And the Bible called it the prince of the most high God, the king of kings. And Abraham paid the tithe of everything. When he say everything, it means everything, including what he has not paid for the last 15 years. 
He met the priest and said, This is your tithe. Everything that he has ever given me. There are children of God seated here today with closed heads with no windows open for them. You know, when God wants to open your window, it will be an idea. Oh, I know you didn't understand that one. When God really wants to open your windows, it could be an idea. And the idea will make you so blessed. Just an idea. When God wants to open your window, it could be a handshake. Just a handshake. That is all. That is all. I have a friend who's church, the man who's cousin. He was at a play. And then he just looked at the man by himself and shook the man. He said, oh, God bless you. The man said, I'm born again. He said, I'm a preacher of the gospel. Oh, the man said, that is good. I'm a preacher. I'm a Christian. And I love preacher. Then he said, are you doing anything? He said, no, I'm trying to start a project. The man said, can I be a pastor? A partner who's almost finished a few projects. Just a handshake. But he has done the will of God. He has done the will of God. Then he got the blessing. He paid the tithe of all. And she said that blessed him. That means he was more blessed than he was. Oh, no man desire more than this anymore. No man will pray for more than this anymore. If you look like a man who said to himself, I have acquired everything to myself. I have passed and I don't need to walk again. Sit down and eat and enjoy till you die. No need for God, no need for anything. And I was say, God calling me what? Oh, thank you. You are very good that. What did God call him? As at this level, you think you need nothing, you are a fool before you. I need to be increased. I need better. I need to be better than this. I wish I'm talking to somebody here. And the word of God said, Abraham always. Always. Number one blessing, he obeyed God's voice by standing up and start going because God said, Come! And he moved. Are you a child of God when he said, Go, you don't go? Um, God, if I go now, uh, what happens to my family? Uh, this is my job. Uh, God, I need answers to every question before I take the journey. You know, when Job was asking God questions, God said, let me ask you some questions. Were you there when I laid the foundation of this earth? Do you know where the heavens are suspended? Put in the pillars that was there. Job said, eh? I'm so sorry. It's a mistake. I'm not asking you questions. I was only complaining because of my problem. <laughs> you don't know him, but you have to trust him. He's the only God I've seen that has never said, never. David says, since I was young and now I am old, I've never seen a righteous forsaken. Forsaken means forsaken. It has never happened. But what is righteous? The righteousness means to walk right with God. Not being a Christian. Righteousness is different from holiness. Oh, I need you to separate the two. Righteousness is not holiness. You know, the Bible says Abraham believed God was counted as righteous. As counted equates or is the same as righteousness. That means his belief in God was so equal to him walking right with God. And God said, Job in Job 6, pay tight in place. Do your sacrifice, he does. Anything, oh man of a sadaya. You don't be a child of God without a heart for God. So heart for God determines how much we go as a Christian. Matthew 22 says, You shall love the Lord with all thy heart, all thy might, and all thy strength. For this is the greatest commandment. Everything you have, use it to love God. Your power, your strength, your mind, your heart. Sometimes our mind fails off. We think too much when it comes to God. You can't bring your human reasoning to God's world. A word that God, you know, is, you know. The white can dispute and fight anything and useless anything. But the white has not been able to dispute and useless this. And no matter where you are, you are in Kenya, you are in South Africa, you are in Nigeria. When the South Korean person or you came from the United States of America, you are a citizen of uh, France, 
Wherever you came from, the same power. So it shows how powerful. You know, the constitution of Nigeria cannot be the same as the constitution of Kenya. Even the US cannot be the same as that of Britain. But nobody changes this Bible to fit into their system. All systems are set. <laughs> I wish I knew somebody this morning here. And so it's so important for you to understand that blessings and increase are possible from God. Number one thing God said to man when he created him in Genesis chapter 1, 22, he said, Be fruitful and multiply. You know, when they said multiplication, the African man understands it in a wrong perspective. He thought multiplication means I have so much children. No, multiplication means become better. I wish I'm talking to somebody here. Because if it's the same thing as uh, having so much, would have been to replenish the earth. So replenish the earth is just make sure there are children in the earth. He didn't say have many children. Make sure you have a child on this earth, one or two or three. Therefore, I cause barrenness to die out of anyone barren here. Yeah. You didn't have me to say it at all. Yeah. Then everyone under the sound of my voice, which are carrying your own child. Yeah. I wish I had a better living on the earth. Yeah. Be food, multiply, replenish. Then he said, in case you, you, re you refuse, or the food may refuse to come, but the culture refuse to come. And you cannot replenish it, then you use the word says of you. Then have dominion. Mm -hmm. He gives you every power to make sure you increase. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they told me 20 verse 1 saying, If thou will hearken unto my voice, I hear this day to do that and observe that which I command thee to do. In blessing, I will bless you. Mm -hmm. And increase, I will increase you. Mm -hmm. Thy basket shall be full. You shall be blessed the land, you shall be blessed. Everywhere shall be blessed, including your bank account. Amen. Every time you put your ATM in your, in, in, in your card in your ATM, the first thing you do is to check balance because you are not even trusting the balance. <laughs> then you say the balance will say 1,200 shillings. Then you press 1,000 to renew the 200 shillings. <laughs> if the ATMs are paid uh, 5 shillings, they will be pressing for 5 shillings and take it. At always at the same point. That is the end from today. Because there is an anointing that provoke supernatural increase. You can't be a child of God without evidence. Among everyone born in your family, may you be the most blessed person. Abraham was a family man, he was a walking with God, and God blessed him. Ah, how much he loved the Lord. Then the day came also. That one of the most troubling things was sitting in the tent, at Genesis 18, was in the tent in the heat of the day, verse 1. And the Bible said he was sitting in the valley of Mara. Valley experience, even the biggest or the rich, if there's any man blessing or woman blessing you think is blessed, check it. They go through valley experience. Yeah. As blessed as Abraham, as you are blessed, you think, or people think, and you still have valley experiences. There is a life of the mountain and the life of the valley. And when it's in the life of the valley, that is when only you know what to go through. People can't understand. You know, there are times you tell people that I'm passing through days and trials are looking at you. They don't know what you're talking about. There's no way I'm calling your God will take you to. Your God will take you to. When they said it, nothing, you said nothing. You show your pain is increasing. There are certain of them, this year, who are even given God, or there are those who are stuck. They said, Lord, I give you more three months. More three months. And the three months elapse. <laughs> and they pack their Bible and stop coming to church. And there are people here still giving God time. This and gentlemen, increase is only possible by provocation. How did God, hey, God promised Abraham every time he met him, you will carry a shot, you will carry a shot, you will carry a shot. Until the day Abraham met the servants of God, gave them too much chicken to eat. They got so angry that one of them stood up and said, Buy this time next year. Oh, yeah. Until he provoked it, he didn't come. Amen. Stop working only on the promises of God. It's time to provoke them to come. Amen. You are not the first to read the promises. The promises have been there. Some of you know what the numbers of promises in the Bible, but none is working your life. After this service, the promise of God will make manifest in your life.
your lips. I wish your head can walk away. You start up to say amen. Let somebody stand up and say amen. Hallelujah. Can I push a little bit here? Sit down. How much longer? Oh, I wish I had that. The man 
one day, God got up and gave him a son. And God spoke to Abraham, Is there a son? You know, there are certain things God gives to you that intoxicate you. you I, have you ever given something to God that makes you cry? Hey! I mean, you play that. So many times God has taken things for me, my cars. One time God took everything in my house. I said, Son, I said, Yeah, he said, give me everything you have in your house. I packed everything. Just left the rug. It was a green rug. So my wife said, You people come, when are you going to see that? And I called a sample into me and said, God, make it us to lie down in green pasture. So this is green rug, all of us will lie down.
You know how to sew. You know she has also been an embodiment of sewing now. I'm afraid of her now. She now sew more than me. The worst thing that happened, my son who is a small boy, now sew everything. <laughs> we come to the, our house, you look for one thing and carry the take I give you. I said, come on! And my cousin said, you play me here? It's like his father. The people give everything. One day you will give your lives. But ladies and gentlemen, I become more better. Because when you do certain things, they provoke the heaven. How can you remain small when you have the ability to go up? Is it you? Is it you? How can the word of God not be made manifest in your life? It is time to prove me here with and tell everybody that I gave everything to God and nothing happened. Tell, I've never seen a man who walks around and say, I've been able to do for God that God could not do for me. I've never seen a preacher say, the only man who has said, uh, I've been a preacher uh, and I've done and given to God. You know, most preachers who are not blessed are preachers who preaches you to do it and never. And the members become blessed and the preacher becomes stranded. And you can't understand why he has blessed member and is not blessed. But our God is not a mock God. But whatsoever I must sweat. That said, but to our understanding, if you have understanding, you become understanding. Can I preach to him? He's living so here. And God said to him, Give me thy son. This only son you have, give it to me now. And Abraham called his son, called it to Sarah. Let's go. You know what Abraham could have done? Mama, you have one son or two? One. Yeah, you know, Bishop would have just come to you. God said we should use our son for sacrifice. We'll go tomorrow morning. I'm telling you now. So, I've told you, I'll be sleeping under that room. You and the son can sleep there. You know what they said? He said before morning, carry the son and what? And run. Then, Mama will not sleep, carry the son in the morning and run. Then the morning, Bishop will say, God, I want to give the son. My wife has run away with the son. <laughs> Many a times when we want to give, we go home and call the wife and say, This beauty, which I'm talking about, would have been like uh, 100,000 cities. The wife say, You know, we have not paid this thing. I'm not saying give it to God is wrong. They preach on it. No, I give it to God is wrong, but uh, we still have this astounding base. Uh, as we want to give, we have to consider the children's profits. <laughs> It's okay, okay, what will happen? And since all that is in my mind, I will give it, but for now, I will give five. <laughs> five thousand chilies, six hundred thousand was in my mind. I'll give five now, then I'll be giving it gradually. Oh, no wonder. No wonder you have no reason to be angry. And to, you know, the Bible said, in all the blessing he has blessed Abraham, the day Abraham did it, he said, stop. And told Abraham, now I know that you fear me and you love me. You could not even withhold that holy soul. But Abraham turned because he said he must give God the sacrifice. He turned and saw him and still take it and sacrifice it because the sacrifice was the offer. And the Bible said, and God spoke the second time. Read the Bible. The Bible only said God speak once. Once had the Lord spoken twice at my head. But this was a man who made God to speak twice. He said, for this you are done. I will bless you. He has blessed him. He said, but I will bless you. Everyone in this earth will know that I bless you. Your children will be great. Did you know till today, Abraham's name is still in folk that we even pray that I receive the blessings of Abraham. Right. Let me tell you how blessed that is. Israel is still so proud today as a country to be called the seeds of Abraham. Why? Provocation of blessing. You can't remain small when you have the capacity to be great. I don't want to see you the way I met you now. If I will ever cross your path again before we see, you will be heavily blessed and peace in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm in mean, a church where we have people who sell a market, market. Blessed by God. Unbelievable. There's a woman in my church, she sent tomatoes in the market. Tomato. That's what she said. When they came to church at first, she was selling tomato. She said, then. The next thing I said that God wants to change it because in a little blessing she keep giving to God. I said God wants to change your capacity. So the first thing that God did for her, she bought a 
bus. She now goes to where they send the tomatoes. Buy it by herself with the bus. Call, supply, and call people and sell her own. Then, as I speak to you, she has 13 buses. 13. So a few days back, she took me and said, Pastor, come, let's go to somewhere. I followed her. We got to a place. I saw the house he was building. I was shocked. I said, you are building this house. He said, this when I finished your letter, I didn't to tell you. I told you that I have last for us. And this one, I just want to manage to stay here. <laughs> then he said to me, I want to buy that kind of thing. Oh, if you come to church, you see her. You will think she was the government or in the bank. She dresses corporate. Wow. Ah, the tomato seller in the market. She has an AC, a car with an AC. She will drive to the market, change her clothes, wear market women clothes, sell all the tomatoes, change the bar, enter the car, and on the AC. I'm telling you a little testimony. Time when you give me the tape, I'll give it to them to watch. So I'm not lying. In church, I preach with people. I point you. She said, uh, after I finished the house, that kind of uh, mama's car, uh, that is a car. I said, you know what is in that car? We were talking about a land, a proper land cruiser. He said, it's expensive. I told her, I said, yes. He said, if your prayer continues to work like this, what is that small car? <laughs> My faith will be
and he thought it was a play in the process of time. Joseph became what he used to say. Yes. See, what you say, you become. Yes. Therefore, I prophesy to you. Yes. I prophesy to you. Yes. I prophesy to you. Yes. You shall occupy the highest position in your family. Yes. There are people here, through you, they will know your father's name. Yes. Through you. My dad recently went to the parliament and wanted to see the speaker and was seated. And so many people want to see him in his office. And so the man who was in charge, going through the gate, saw a name. He saw Akbeni. Then he picked the phone and said, who is Akbeni? Then my father started. He said, do you know one pastor who books Akbeni? He said, ah, he's my son. I came back to him. And his father said, yes. So he told the man, my father was behind. He would have stayed from morning till night before he can see the speaker. So they told the man, I said, Can you come back? Come and sit down. This man will go first. Then the man said, Ah, what happened here? And the big man said, If you know whose father is this, you won't say a word. Amen. So when he came, my father said, Hey, you're so big now. Has he heard your name? They let me in. Now, my father's name was supposed to give me breakthrough. My name is giving my father breakthrough. <laughs> Let that 
next year's return back to them. For the child of the kingdom, you cannot be snatched in the name of Jesus.
just take a seed, drop it on the altar. The altar is the power of God. Where the voice of God is spoken from. Whether it has on Jilly, 500, 200, 150, make sure you drop a seed on the altar. Just drop it. Drop a seed on the altar. Touch it now. Everybody do this now. Everybody. There's a few now that come. Don't let this hour expire. This hour will be from nothing well. Please let me know the exact title. I'll tell them. If it passes, oh, it's going to be too bad. Please. What is this house for now? Huh? To three? 420. Please don't allow 4 p.m. to pass you. Do what the Lord has asked you to do. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Give the Lord a clap of everybody. Let's go and move Everybody. Let's go and chill. Take chill. Make sure you drop an offering on the water. Everybody. Do this now. This is not your normal offering. This is just a seat. Do that now. Thank you. Thank you. Give the Lord a clap of his honor. Hallelujah. This, this, 